so guys in our previous video we have learned about the ccd sensor this is the charge coupled devices so now this particular ccd sensors is outdated just because of it's uh, like a uh, more power consumption it consumes more power to transfer that particular electric charge to the downward resistor it consumes more amount of power also guys the response time is very much slow over here in the case of this ccd type sensor so this is the reason nowadays most of the smartphones most of the cameras are equipped with the cmos type of the sensor well guys this particular cmos type of the sensor is the more advanced type than the ccd over here we are getting the more speed the better resolution the more the dynamic range we are getting over here in this type of the sensor also it consumes less power so this is the reason the cmos is preferred over the ccd so guys to understand the cmos sensor i recommend you to watch the previous video of the ccd you can click over here on the top right corner so guys now over here in this particular video we are going to learn about the cmos type of the sensors and it's some of the applications we will be covering in today's video so guys if you're new over here on my educational channel engineers academy kindly subscribe it because ultimately your subscription really motivates me to make more of such educational informative videos so guys please do subscribe and please press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new educational video you will be notified so without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the cmos type of the sensor So guys, uh, first of all, if you are a manufacturer of a cell phone and if you are a manufacturer of a DSLR cameras, just like the Canon or else Nikon, what will you prefer? You will be prefer a better sensor for transmission of that particular uh, photon energy into the electrical digital signals. Basically, you will be preferring a low cost, high efficient type of the sensor well basically cmos is the right answer for that well this particular cmos stands for the complementary metal oxide semiconductor the main overall function that is the working principle is same as that of the ccd if you have watched my previous video you you will be easily understand this function of the cmos as well so now how does it works over here when the shutter gets turned on the sensor gets exposed to the outer sunlight the photon will get enter and photon will hit to that particular sensors now as the sensors are like this particular sensor is a array of the pixels each particular individual pixel will be having the silicon like the semiconductor there just because of the piezoelectric effect this photon gets converted into the electrons and itself in the pixels and this particular electrons that is the charge of electron gets stored in that particular pixels there will be the array of the pixels and this electrical charge gets stored in each of that particular pixel and now over here in that particular pixels there is a filter that is called as the rgb filter this particular rgb filter separates the different photons lights and it will uh, photons light and it will segregate the number of the amount and it will segregate the number of the electrons which will getting accumulated in that particular pixel that is rgb red green and blue this is the filter which is used over the silicon over here the charge or as the accumulated number of electrons then later gets converted into voltage that is the voltage signals by using the amplifiers over here by using the transistors basically over here guys for each of the pixel there is a transistor it gets connected and over here the conversion of this electrical charge into the output uh, voltage occurs within that particular pixel within that particular boundary itself in the case of the ccd this particular conversion takes place at the end of the horizontal shift resistor so this is the reason like over here the conversion takes place inside the pixel the image processing is a bit fast over here in the cmos type sensor also guys this particular image uh, also this particular conversion of each electron into the output voltage signal requires a less power input 
So this is the two reasons this CMOS sensor is much more efficient than that of the previous CCD sensor. Over here guys, these are the small transistors, these are connected for each of the pixels and the main function of the transistor to convert the electrical charge into the output voltage signals that is very much useful for the digital processing and ultimately you will be getting a clear image on the screen. This type of the uh, image sensor gets manufactured by the process known as the photolithography. Well, this is the process which is used to manufacture the microprocessors. And this particular process is very much cheap. So this is the reason its manufacturing cost is less. And this is the reason most of the manufacturers prefer this CMOS sensors over the previous CCD sensor. So guys, now let's talk about the, some of the applications of this CMOS sensor. Well, this type of the sensor used in the digital cameras, digital camcorders. Also, it is used in the CCTVs. Also, the, some of the astronomical telescopes use this kind of the image sensor to process the data. The most of the majority of the scanners and the barcode readers uses this type of the CMOS type of the sensor embedded in the uh, scanners. Also, guys, now uh, nowadays the machine vision is rising tremendously. The robots uses the machine vision they equipped with this CMOS type of the sensor. Also the some of the drones that will be having this uh, CMOS type of the sensor, CMOS chips. Also the main function of this particular CMOS type of the sensor, it is used in the OCR, that is nothing but the optical character recognition. The processing of the radar images occurs by using this CMOS type of the sensors, just because of its efficiency. So guys, that was some of the applications of this CMOS type of the sensor. So guys, I hope you like my video. If you having any kind of queries, any kind of doubts, just comment below and please do subscribe to my educational channel, Genius Academy. Thank you so much guys for watching this educational video.